Uh, if a person has, excuse me, if a person has been alcoholic or has been an alcoholic, are they required to take the wine for Passover? Okay, answer is yes. You're still required to take the wine and the bread, the lamb, all that is a commandment. You have to take it. We have uh, first. Let's get it. First Corinthians. No, go to Luke. Luke twenty-two. Luke twenty-two. Seven. And then go jump to fifteen. The book of Luke. Chapter 22 and verse 7. Then came the day of unleavened bread, when the Passover must be killed. When the Passover must be killed. Go ahead. And he sent Peter and John, saying, Go and prepare us the Passover, mm -hmm. that we may eat. And they said unto him, Where wilt thou that we prepare? And he said unto them, Behold, when ye are entered into the city, there shall a man meet you, bearing a pitcher of water, Follow him into the house where he entereth okay, in. Okay, so this is the preparation of the Passover. All right, jump down to 15 now. Verse 15, and he said unto them, with desire, I have desire to eat this Passover with you mm -hmm. before I suffer. So here we have Christ uh, um, eating the Passover. That's the lamb, right? Eating the bitter herbs. Read on. For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof, until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. The deliverance, the coming back, all right? The falling of Israel, the rising of Israel. Come on. And he took the cup and gave thanks. He took what? And he took the cup. He took the cup. Come on. And gave thanks. Read on. And said, take this and divide it among yourselves. Mm -hmm. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine. The fruit of what? The fruit of the vine. What is the fruit of the vine, brothers? Wine, the grape, the wine. Go ahead. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God shall come. Right. So this is an example that Christ left behind. He himself partook of the bread, the lamb, the bitter herbs, and the wine. So likewise, we have to do the same thing. Right. So from there, go to Sirach. Sirach, uh 31 and 25. How much of it? Does that mean a whole bottle of it? Okay. Let's get that. Sirach 31, start at verse 25. Sirach. You're going to read down to 30. Sirach, chapter 31 and verse 25. Mm -hmm. Show not thy valiantness in wine, for wine have destroyed many. For wine have destroyed many. A lot of us who, who, who have been through that life or battle um, uh, drinking addiction, alcoholic addiction, right? It has destroyed many. Read on. The furnace proveth the edge by dipping. So doeth wine the hearts of the proud by drunkenness. Read. Wine is as good as life to a man, if it be drunk moderately. That's the point. If it's drunk moderately. Moderation. Read on. What life is then to a man that is without wine? For it was made to make men glad. Wine measurably drunk and in season. You see that? Mine, my, wine drunk moderately. It said measurably. Read on. Wine measurably drunk and in season bringeth gladness of the heart and cheerf cheerfulness of the mind. All right. So that's the point right there. It, wine drunk moderately. So it don't have to be a big cup. Uh, half a bottle of that wine, you can have just a dash of it. We had Captain Gad where he, we, he would bring wine, um, bread. He'll just get a little shot, little drop. He'll even mix it with water, okay? So those are the things. It's, if you know you battle that, brothers, sisters, hey, you don't, you, you don't have to have a big cup of wine. You can take a little, little drop, break bread, as long as you still keep an example that Christ left behind. Christ partook of it, so likewise, we have to do the same thing. Uh, last scripture, we break the scripture all the time. First Corinthians 11, 23. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 23. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, Take, eat, 
This is my body, mm -hmm. which is broken for you. Right. So we have the bread representing Christ's body. Read on. This do in remembrance of me. We do it for what? In, the, in remembrance of me. In rehearsing the righteous acts in remembrance of Christ. Read. After the same manner, also he took the cup. He did what? He took the cup. Filled with wine. Read. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it. Yeah, as oft as you drink it. As often as we come together, we show remembrance. We rehearse the righteous acts left behind our forefathers. All right? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. <laughs> 